Adding a featured image to your blog post is essential. An effective blog image will highlight the content of your article and grab the attention of readers when you share your blog post on social media. Hey YouTube, it's Lucas here from Snappa, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to design a featured image for your blog post. Let's get started. The ideal size for a blog featured image is 1200 pixels by 628 pixels. These dimensions will satisfy most WordPress themes and will fit most social media platforms when you share your blog post link. To make things easy, we're going to use Snappa to design our blog image because the correct dimensions are built right in. It only takes a few seconds to make a free account and then you can scroll down and click the blog featured image size. Feel free to scroll through our templates and search for a design that you like. All of our templates are fully customizable, so there's no need to worry if you can't find a template that matches the theme of your blog post, because you'll be able to change any design elements if necessary. Once you find a design you like, just click on it to get started. Now that our canvas is open, the first thing I want to do is edit the text. I can double click the text box and type in the title of my blog post, the best TV shows of 2022. Then I'm going to navigate to the toolbar on the left and use the drop down menu to change the font. I can also use these arrows to adjust the size of my text. I'm going to decrease the size just a little bit so that it fits perfectly within the canvas. And I'm also going to drag the text box down to recenter it. The next thing I want to do is click on the orange box and change its color to black. This will add some contrast and really make the title of my blog post stand out. I also really like these lines, so I'm going to leave them as is, but you can always use the shapes tab to add more design elements to your graphic. Now I want to add a photo, so I'm going to click on the graphics tab and select photos. I can then use the search bar to look up something specific. Snappa has millions of high-res photos that you can use in your graphics for free. I really love this dark photo of the Apple TV remote, but before I add it to my graphic, I'm going to hover my mouse over it and click the blue square in the top left corner to crop it, so that it fits perfectly along the right side of my canvas. I can drag the blue points and click apply, and then click accept changes to set the crop. Snappa will add the cropped photo to my uploads, and I can just click on the photo to add it to my graphic. I'm going to drag the photo to position it on the right side of my canvas, and then I'll also drag the corner point to make it larger so that it covers the background. This looks perfect, and now I have a stunning blog featured image that only took a few minutes to make. The next thing I'm going to do is click the pen icon at the top to rename my graphic. Then, I'm going to save it to avoid losing any progress, and I'm going to download it as a Retina JPEG for the highest quality and best results. Once it's downloaded, you can just upload the file right to your blog editor and attach it to your blog post. Well, that's all for today's video. If you learned something new, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.